Okay, in this question, uh, we're given the line y is equal to x, we have a triangle P, and we're asked to reflect the shape P in the line y equals x. Now, I'm going to show you two ways to do it. Whichever way you prefer, do. Now, I find it quite easy just to, um, if I got a ruler out, let's say, so if I got a ruler out, okay, and what I do is I turn the ruler um, towards so that it's like exactly uh, perpendicular to that line there. So I can do that. Now, I put uh, my ruler on each point. Now, that's half a square away, so another half a square square would be that point there, okay? And I can move the ruler here. Oh, careful. You've got to move the ruler so it stays the same. Now, this is uh, one diagonal square and a half, so you go a half and one diagonal square, so it would be there. And similarly, this point here is one diagonal square, two diagonal square, so you keep going one, two diagonal square. There we go. And then what you do is with a ruler, you join up those points. Okay? So what I do then is I just say, right, it goes there. And then with the ruler, again, I'd say it's there. And obviously with the ruler, I'm just doing it freehand now. You have a ruler. Um, it would go here, like that. Okay? And that's the reflection of that shape in the line. So that's one way of doing it. Obviously, in the exam, you also... Uh, have tracing paper. So what you could do is you get your tracing paper out. So ask for a piece of tracing paper in the exam. Now the key thing here, you put that tracing paper, it must be in line with your line of reflection, like something like that. You put it spot on in line. And then what you do is you draw in your shape. So let's draw in the shape. Oh, If you don't mind, I should make that a little bit thinner because that's just a little bit too... Um, okay, so I'm just going to make that a bit neater. So you draw in your shape just like that. Okay? Now what I'm going to do is watch this. I'm going to flip this uh, around to the other side. So I'm going to flip this. So what I'm going to do is I'll flip this over. So imagine peeling this over flipping it so that this triangle was on the other side and you'd have something that looks like this. Okay, so what I did is I peeled that page off, I flipped it onto the other side so it was the other side of the line. Then what I do with my tracing paper, I just mark off my points with a pencil so I push through so I leave a little indent, move the tracing paper away and hey presto, I have my triangle here. You obviously use a ruler but that's my new triangle. Okay, so there's two ways to do it. Next question, it says describe fully the transformation that maps A onto B. So how do we get from A to B? Now because the shape is the same way up, it hasn't been rotated, reflected or enlarged, it's clearly a translation. So you get one mark for stating it's a translation. Remember a translation means a movement. Now you've got to give a vector that the translation is by. So by what vector? You can't say two left, three up or whatever. You have to give a vector. So find a corner you like, any corner, and work out how that corner gets to this corner, the, uh, opposing, the uh, similar corner. So it's one, two left, and we write two left by negative two on top, because top is across. And how many down? One, two, three, and four. So because we've gone down, it's negative four. And we're done.